Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at using an Acasis USB 4 NVMe enclosure for time machine backup on a Mac Mini with an M1 processor. So I did a previous video on this enclosure itself, and I did some benchmarks on it, and it is crazy fast. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this enclosure and the SSD I'm using, and if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the SSD I'm using inside of the enclosure is a Samsung 970 Evo Plus, and it's a one terabyte model. So I'll close this. I'm going to plug the hard drive in, and this is using USB 4.0. This enclosure is also backwards compatible with previous versions of USB. So you can see the drive here, I call it external NVMe. I'm going to open up disk utility. The quickest way to do that is to hold down command space and just type in disk space utility. Hit enter, that'll open up your disk utility. So I have two drives here. If you click under view here next to disk utility, you can say show only volumes or show all devices. I have show all devices selected. I'll go down here to external, I'll click on Samsung SSD, and I want to erase this. Now needless to say, when you erase it, it will remove anything on the drive. So make sure you have everything backed up off your drive before you turn it into a time machine backup. So I'm going to select that external drive, I'll go up to erase, and I'm a big fan of APFS file system, but it's not compatible with Time Machine, so I'm going to click that and go down to Mac OS Extended Journaled. When I was editing this video, I did a quick search to check that Time Machine actually isn't supported with APFS volumes, and I found out that's no longer true with Big Sur. On Big Sur, you can use APFS formatted Time Machine backup drives. There are some caveats to it, such that you have to use the whole volume for Time Machine, and I don't want to get into that on this video. If you want to use APFS, you can Google it and read about the different caveats with using APFS. APFS on Time Machine. As of now, HFS Plus still works, so I wasn't going to reshoot this whole video to use APFS. I'll get back to the main video now, and I'll name this TM Backup. I'll hit Erase. This will format the drive. It should be pretty quick. Okay, that's completed. I'll hit Done. I'll close this out. Now, sometimes it might pop up a message saying that it has a drive that's available for backup, and if it does pop up, you can use that, but I don't have that, so I'm going to go to my System Preferences. If it's not down here in your dock, you can hold down Command Space and type in System, and System Preferences should come up. Next, I'll go to Time Machine. It's in the bottom row here. So there are two different ways you can use Time Machine. You can back up to an external enclosure, like the Acasis, or you can do it to a network share, and I'm currently backed up to a network share. But with Time Machine, you can actually back up to two devices at once. So I'll go in here to Select Disk. I'll select TM Backup. I'll hit Encrypt Backups. I'll hit Use Disk. Now it's saying, do you want to use it instead of the network backup? And I want to say, use both. Now I'm going to type in my backup password. I'll hit Encrypt Disk. It says, Preparing TM Backup. and now it says waiting to back up. So I like to have this show time machine and menu bar selected. So if I uncheck it, you'll see it goes away and comes back, it's this little clock. So if you click on this, it will tell you the last backup. So I'll say backup now. And now it says preparing backup. So let's take a look at my hard drive. I'll select it and go to get info and to have 453 gigabytes on here. Now you'll see here it says it's backing up 362 gigabytes. And the reason is there are certain things that don't get backed up. Specifically, if you go down here to options, you can exclude items from your backup. So things that you can re-download or things that are backed up on a different system, you could exclude so they're not part of this backup. So I'll hit cancel here. So you can see it's backing up. Okay, so I'm going to speed up the video here and we'll come back when it's finished. And this started at around 1228, I think. Okay, that completed it, and that took a little over a half hour. So I did some temperature measurements on the enclosure during this, and I got about 83 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit, so it didn't get all that hot. You can see there it started off a little bit faster, and then it kind of slowed down. A lot of these SSDs will have write caches on them, so it'll write quickly at the beginning, and then it'll slow down as you write more information to it. And then the time was completely off. It said like two minutes left for the last 15 minutes of it or something. But that was way faster than it happens on my network drive. And I think who this could be very good for is someone who has a laptop. So I'm doing this on a Mac mini, but if you had a MacBook Pro running the M1 processor, you could have this at your house or your office and you could plug it in and you could back up your time machine very quickly and then unplug it. And then you could leave it at the office or the house or you could plug it into a dock thing too. 
If you were to do this with a slower drive, you could be in a situation where it takes so long to back up that you want to disconnect your computer, but it hasn't finished backing up. Using a very fast drive like this, it'll back up very quickly and you can be on your way. And this was the initial backup. Most backups won't take this long. You'll just have a fraction of the information to transfer over. I mean, this was 640 gigabytes. If you were editing some video, you might have, say, 5 to 50 gigabytes, and that would transfer quite a bit faster. So I was encrypting this drive as it was backing up. I don't know if it would have gone faster if we had encryption off, but I do like to use encryption. I have FireVault turned on on this computer, and then you encrypt your backups, it protects it on your computer and in the backup both. If you don't encrypt your backup, if someone got a hold of that backup, they could access your files. So that's a demonstration of using the Casus NVMe external enclosure to use with Time Machine Backup. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.